Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Gonzalez. I'm working on the project To-Do List Optimizer version 1.0. Uh, I'm gonna be presenting today the user story number 666, which is the sign of system. We're gonna pass to the, this, the mingle. This is the mingle user story uh, description. What we wanna do is uh, we want to create a sign up system for the user so the user can have access to its own tasks and places. We are going to verify the username and password in order to register the, the user. We are going to verify if the username and password is valid or not um, before we create the user. Once the user is registered, you will be able to navigate through all the application views. Now we're gonna go to explain a little bit more about this. Going into details in the code, we're gonna have uh, an object uh, login scene where we're gonna have uh, all the components. We're gonna have an input for the username. We're gonna have an input for the password. Uh, we're gonna have two buttons. We're gonna have one sign in and one sign up. If the username and password entered by the user uh, is already registered, the user will the user will go ahead and use the sign in. If not, the user will go ahead and use the sign up and register those username and password for the sign up. Once uh, the sign up uh, the sign up button is pressed, we're gonna call this user sign up function, which is down here. And what it's gonna do is going to create uh, it's gonna make an API call and it's going to send as a JSON the username and password. So it's going to wait for the response, and the response is supposed to have if the username and password is not already registered, it's going to, it's going to return uh, a token, a JWT, a JSON web token, which is going to be used to make any other transactions within the front end and the back end to authenticate any new transaction that the user wants to do. And being able to authenticate it through the rest of the application. The same for the login. We're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna submit a, a username and we're gonna submit a username and password. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for the response. Which uh, we're gonna we're going to submit a username and password and wait for the response of the server. Once we get a response for the server, we're gonna parse it into a JSON. We're gonna check for the status of the response. If the response is good, it means that the, the user was already, it already existed, and is going to. We're gonna go ahead and uh, collect the the token, the JWT, so we can keep going and doing other transactions uh, through the applications. If the user doesn't exist or is not found the email, we're going to uh, send a message to the user. And by sending that message to the user, we'll inform him that the username or the password was wrong. If there is a problem with the server, we're going to just uh, alert the user that something was wrong with the, with the server. Now we're gonna move ahead and we're gonna go to uh, what the back end of this looks like. This is a schema for the user and this is what we'll be collecting for the user. We're gonna have uh, a name that is gonna be temporary. I mean, it's not required for now, but we're gonna have require an email that is gonna be unique. We're gonna have a password also that is gonna be a string. Uh, we're gonna talk about this a little bit when we go to the controller. And then we're gonna collect also phone and user schema, but that's gonna be after registration. Once here, uh, we're gonna see, um, we're gonna go first before going here, we're gonna go to the to the routes of the of the user. So we're gonna have a sign up route, uh, which is gonna call the function add user. And then we're gonna go here, and we're gonna see the add user, which I, has a request and a response. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, the user, the add user function here, which is gonna take care of uh, this is the add user function. And the first thing that we're gonna do, 
uh, we're going to collect that password uh, from the from the <clears throat> from the request body. Uh, this is going to be a post. That's we here. This is a post. Is this route is made with the post? Okay, so we're going to talk about the sign up uh, route, uh, which is going to be we're going to be using the post method because we're going to be saving uh, the user and password. On, on the database. Um, now we're going to go to the controller, which is going to take care of that part. Is the request object and the response object. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do with the request object is we're going to we're going to <clears throat> we're going to encrypt the password and we're going to hash it. And we're going to save it, uh, not as the actual password, but as a hash. Um, now we're going to try to create the user. Uh, we're going to have um, we're going to we're going to create an object email uh, with the password that we encrypted up here. Uh, then we're going to try to save that user. If there was an error and the error, and the error code is uh, 11,000, that means that uh, our email already exists. Uh, so we're not going to we're not going to add that user. We're going to respond with a 500 uh, code, uh, so they know that they have to change that. Uh, if not, we if the error is another error, that could be something related to the database. So we're gonna send that there was a problem with the um, with the database. If not, then we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're going to create uh, the token that we're going to sign. Uh, we're going to use that user ID that was returned by the database once it was created, and then we're gonna sign it with the with the JWT library and with the JWT, we're gonna sign this. We're gonna create this token using uh, the JWT module. Uh, we're gonna be using to to create this token the user ID and the configuration secret, or which we have in another file. Uh, we're gonna set up an expiration, which is gonna be one month. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to create uh, this uh, object, which we're going to send as the authentication back to the to the front end, so they know how to use it, and they would know that they will save this token uh, on the environment on the front end uh, for future uh, for future requests as a, as the user is logged in. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to test this. So, we're going to go and we're going to run we're going to run the client side and then we're going to start the server. So, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let's create a new username which is going to be testing uh, uh, com. We're going to create a new password which is going to be test123. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and to sign up with this here. So sign up success. You yeah, click OK. Now we have access to the rest of the application. And now uh, we got this token that we're gonna save here on the On the front end, we're gonna be saving that token, um, this safe item, which is it belongs to this asynchronous function, uh, that is gonna be saving this on the async storage, which is a part of a React Native uh, system, uh, and is what they use to collect uh, any token from the back from the back end. So we're going to be collecting this JSON on the front end that we're going to use for further uh, for further request. And now when we sign out here, we're just going to remove that token, and then we're going to set that to null, so nobody can use that token. Now we're going to check this on the database. And as we can see, we have our we have our testing, 
or testing um, gmail.com user, which you saved here, and this is the password that we saved it with, which is not the password that we use. Now, if we want to log in with that one, we're gonna go here, it's right here. Perfect, this is working. Mm -hmm. Testing password. I'm going to use login success. Time to login, testing Gmail, successful login, testing gmail.com. Log out once again. We could also go ahead and create this in, we can create this in Postman, which is what we use to check the APIs in the back end. And this is a token that is sending to it. So we're gonna change this and we're gonna put another one here. We're gonna check that it's created on our database. Database, let's change this one for I'll just test. It's going to be Pepe El Pepe. Very secure. Send this. Oh, user not found. So we're doing the sign in. We want to do a sign up. Sign up. Also, we're going to move here. On email. Come. Um, send this. And this was created. We want to refresh this here. And then we have a Carlos test Gmail, the user that can. This is pretty much everything. So if you have any questions, just please contact me at Daniel G. Guns 325 at FIU.edu.